Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we are going to go through 10 background design tricks now possible with Divi's background settings. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you what's possible. In order for you to achieve this layout, you're going to need a few things in place. First of all, we're going to need an image, which is 1920 by 1080. We're also going to need a background video, which we're going to use on one of the examples. And this video can be HD. And finally, we're going to use some CSS code just to make a few adjustments. Now, if you'd like to follow along step by step, you can use our settings, which we have in a post that are linked in the show notes below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you're logged into your WordPress admin dashboard. So I am. So the next thing we're going to do here is to add a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click add new. I'm going to call my page BG for background. Click on use the Divi builder and I'm going to go ahead and use my visual builder. So what you want to do here is to add a full width section. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, click on full width. And then we're going to add a full width header. So firstly, we're going to need the title. So I'm just going to paste my title in here. We're also going to need some subtext. So I'm going to paste it in here. Next, we need to add our logo. So I'm going to come over here to images. Uh, and then from my logo URL, I'm going to upload my logo. So I'm going to click on the upload button and then click upload files. Now I have my logo saved in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to navigate to it. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and select my logo. Click on upload an image. And then next we need to go to the background settings. So I'm going to click on background. So we're going to start off with the gradient. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, gradient tab, click the plus button. And for our first color, I'm going to click on this uh, color selector here. And I'm just going to lower this so I can get access to my RGB. So I'm going to come over here and paste my RGB value. Now, if you want these exact colors, you can find these on our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So let's come over here to our second color. And again, I'm just going to drag this so I can access my RGBA options. So I'm going to paste my color in here. Okay, so that's looking good. Next, we need to come over here and make sure that linear is selected. Over here on the gradient direction, this needs to be 135. So I'm just going to enter 135. And then for the start position, this needs to be set to 60%. And end position needs to also be set to 60%. So now you can see we have this diagonal line. Now it's time to go into the design tab. So I'm going to click on the design. And let's go over to the text. And here on the text, we need, just need to make sure that this is set to light. So we can read it through this background. Click on title text. We're going to make sure that this is bold and uppercase. And the size needs to be about 40. Next, let's go to the subhead text. And all we have to do here is to set the size to 24. Now it's time to go to the advanced tab to add some CSS. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to go into our custom CSS. And in the main element box, I'm just going to paste my CSS. And as mentioned before, this CSS code can be found in the post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So far, everything is looking fine. So let's save this and go to the next option. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of this section here because we don't need it. And then I'm going to come over here to my section settings because now it's time to add our background image. So I'm going to come over here to background, click the third tab, which allows me to add my image. Click this plus button here, and then I'm going to upload my image. So I'm going to click on select files. And my image is right here in my downloads folder. I'm just going to double click on it. And now it's being uploaded onto my media library. Okay, so next I'm going to click on upload an image. And now you can see that my image is now added onto our section background. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to continue with this design that we've done in example one. So to do that, we're just going to duplicate this and make our changes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come into my section settings, click on background, and I need to make sure that I go into the second tab, which is our gradients. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add my colors. So I'm going to select the first color and just lower this so I can get access to my RGBA options. So I'm going to paste my color in here like that. 
I'm going to add my second color. So on my uh, gradient direction here, this needs to be 165. So I'm just going to enter 165 in here and, and the start and end position needs to be 38%. So I'm just going to add my 38 and 38 on the other one. Next, we're going to go into this third tab, which has our image options. And then what I'm going to do here is make sure that use parallax is set to off. We are going to come over here to the blending options and choose multiply. So now we can see that we have this blending option. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so let's move on to example three. So I'm going to come over here and click on add a new section. We need a full width, so I'm going to click on full width section and we need a full width header. So just like before, we need to add our title and our subtext. So I'm gonna add my title and my subtext. We're gonna come over here to images and I'm gonna add my logo, which is already in my media library. So next I'm gonna come over here to design and I'm gonna to go to my text and make sure my text is set to light. And then I'm gonna to go to my title text and make sure that it's bold and all caps. And then I'm going to make sure this is 40 pixels. And then I'm going to come to my subtext and make sure that this is set to 24. And let's add our gradient. So I'm going to click on our background, click on gradient. I'm going to click this plus button here so I can add my colors. So I'm going to paste my color in my RGBA option here. And then I'm going to click, click on my second color option. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paste my color like that. Now, instead of having this as linear, we're going to have it as radial. So we're going to come over here to the start position and enter 30. And we're also going to come over here to our end position and set that to 30. So now you can see that we have this perfect circle. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to add my background image to the section. So I'm going to click the section settings, click on background. I'm going to click this third tab, click this plus button to add my background image. So I'm going to upload the image and now you can see my image is now applied to my section. So I'm going to go ahead and save for now and then I'm going to come over here to my module settings. So next to my layout and make sure that my text and logo orientation is set to center. So finally go into your module settings, click on the advanced tab and add this padding. So if your screen is as big as mine, because I'm using my 27 inch, you can always adjust the uh, padding here to a higher amount if your circle is being cut off. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. So let's move on to trick number four. So trick number four is a continuation of trick number three. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this section. So I'm going to click on this duplicate button. So the first thing we're going to do here is come over here into the section settings click on background and then what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to background image blend and set that to multiply so next let's come over here to our gradient and click this plus button to add a gradient and what we're going to do is we're going to add our gradient colors so i'm going to click on this first one here and add my rgba value i'm going to click on my second color enter my value and then i'm going to come down here and make sure that it's set to radial and I'm going to change the start position and end position to 34%. Okay, perfect. So this is the final result. So I'm going to go ahead and save. So our fifth trick is an inverse circle overlay. So this is going to be a continuation of um, our third trick. So I'm going to duplicate this and just drag it to the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to come over here into my module settings. I'm going to click on background. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my background colors. So I'm going to add my first RGBA color. I'm going to paste it in here. Add my second color. And again, I'm going to paste it in here like that. So that's it. That's our circle overlay. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Moving on. So in trick number six, we are going to do an inverse circle with video background. So let's continue from trick number five. So what I'm going to do here is duplicate this section. And then I'm going to come over here to my section settings. So I'm going to click on background. And this time we are going to choose this final tab here, which allows us to add our video. So I'm going to click on this plus button here to add our video and click upload file. So the file um, is on my 
downloads folder. So I'm going to click on select files and I'm just going to double click my video file. Click on upload video. And now this video is now added onto my media library and we can see it now in the background. So now that we've added our video background, I'm just going to go ahead and save. The next thing we're going to do now is to go into our module settings. So in here, we're going to come over here to background and we're going to add our colors. So I'm going to start off with this color right here and I'm just going to paste it like that. I'm going to come over here to my first color and I'm going to paste my RGBA value like that. And now we have a really cool effect. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead now and save. In trick number seven, we're going to do an off-centered inverse circle overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this section here. And I'm just going to drag this to the bottom. Like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our full width header settings. We're going to come over here to background. And this radial direction we need to center it to the right like that. Now let's go into our design tab, click on layout. So for our text and logo orientation, instead of having it centered, we need to have it to the left. Okay. So that's looking much better now. Okay. So let's move on to trick number eight using gradients for shadow effects. So what we're going to do for this example here is we are going to duplicate our first example here. So I'm going to duplicate here and drag it all, all the way to the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is going to come over here to our module settings, click on background, and we're going to paste our first color in here like that. And then we're going to paste our second color and paste the RGBA values like that. And then finally, this needs to be set at 90 degrees and our start position needs to be at 38 and our end position needs to be set to 85. So this trick is really cool because it makes it easy for you to read this text because we've just added this gradient. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. In our next example, we are going to duplicate our example one right here and use this as our base. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to come to our module settings, click on background, and I'm going to enter my value for my first color. And I'm going to add my hex value for my second color. I'm going to paste it in here like that. So now we need to, we need to make sure that our gradient direction is set to 90 degrees and our start and end position needs to be set at 50%. And then finally for your background image blend, set it to hard light. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So we're now on our final trick, layering to add more colors to your gradient background. So let's start off by adding a new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click on regular, and we're going to need a single column. Next, we're going to add a blurb. So we're going to start off by adding our title, and then we're going to add our content. Next, we're going to go into our design tab and just make sure that our text is centered. And then we're going to go into the heading text, make sure that it's bold and set to 56 pixels. Let's go on to the body text. Let's set this to 22. And then we're going to come over here to spacing and we're going to add a custom padding of 100 to the top and 100 to the bottom like that. Next, we're going to come over here and set our text to light. So I want to save this for now. And then we're going to go into our section settings click on background and let's go to our gradient. So I want to click this plus button here and add my first color. So I'm just going to paste it in here and we're going to add our second color. And again, I'm going to paste it like that. And then over here for our gradient direction, I want to set this to 90 degrees and for our end position, that's going to be set to 30. So let's come over here to our design tab and add our custom padding. So we're going to add a zero to the top and a zero to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And this time we're going to go into our row settings. So I'm going to click this uh, gear icon to access the row settings. Click on background. So I'm going to come over here to my gradient. Click this plus button and add my first color. 
So for this color, I want to add my RGBA value and enter it. Click my second color and I'm going to paste it. I want to set my gradient to 90 and my start position to 25 and my end position to 50. Next, let's go into our column one uh, gradient. So I'm going to click this gradient button and add my color. So I'm going to start off with the first color here and I am going to add my RGBA value like that. And this time my second color is just going to be a hexadecimal color. And then over here for my column gradient, that's going to be set to 90. Our start position is going to be 50 and our end position will be 75. So next we're going to go into the design settings and we're going to make this row full width. So we're going to come over here to sizing and then click make this row full width. Next, we're going to set our gutter width to one and save the settings. Next, we need to go into the blurb module and make some changes. So I'm going to click this gear icon to access our settings, click on background, and we're going to come over here to the gradient tab and let's add our gradient colors. So over here, I'm going to start by adding my RGBA value for my first color. I want to add my second color. And this color here is just my normal hexadecimal. And this time our gradient direction is 90 degrees. And then 75%. And finally, our end position will be left at 100. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. We're going to save the page and exit the visual builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.